Hey everybody. Today I'm going to take you through the small town of Kodoka, South Dakota, and I'm just going to drive through and tell you all what's been going on with me and where I'm at on the truck and when I plan to get back on the road. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like it too. Thanks. Bye. Hi everybody. This is the little town of Kodoka. I'm going to take you through it. This is uh, what it looks like when you get off the highway. I-90. So we have a subway um, and there's a little grill in there. I haven't been but I don't know if it's good or not but I did go to subway. And there's a couple gas stations, a motel. There's a, a motel on the other side of the expressway too. It's a little motel. The campground I'm staying at is to the left behind this motel but I'll take you through town and then we'll come back to that. So we're gonna take the business loop. Uh, it's 90. It's right here. They do have a Dollar General uh, right in front of us up there on the left. Let's see. That's a little better. So take it through here. So my truck is fixed. I'm driving it right now. It is doing great. No, I mean it feels. You're shaking. The camera's shaking, but the truck isn't shaking. <laughs> so that's good. Um, feels great, shifting great, everything seems to be doing well. Um, he put a, what was it, distribution gear in it. Um, my mechanic from Cody, Wyoming, um, called and they talked about it and uh, my mechanic said that's probably what it was and uh, this mechanic here in Kadoka ordered the part and put it in and fixed the timing and now it's, uh, it's running great. Um, I guess the real test will be tomorrow when I leave out and uh, head towards uh, Washington again. Um, hoping to get there without any problems. So keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, this is Main Street, so I'm going to turn right here. So on the left up here, uh, this is the school. It's a schoolhouse. Uh, I haven't seen another school here, so I don't know if it's all in one. I'm guessing it probably is because this is such a small place, but I'm not sure. So that's the school. I'm excited to get back on the road, you guys. Oh, it's been, it's been a little over a week here and not much to do in this little town, but I got some stuff done at home, so that's good. Okay, we're coming up on uh, Main Street and all the little shops here in town. They do have the fire department truck out in the middle of the road. Um, I'm guessing in uh, memorial to 9-11. Um, so they're parked here with the flags up and everything. So on the, let's see, on the right, there's the bar. I haven't been to the bar, should have went to the bar, drowned my sorrows, but I didn't make it to the bar. And then we have the People's Market here on the right. That's the only grocery store in town. Library's on the left. There's such little shops, but it's cute. There is the Kodoka Press. I guess that's a newspaper. The laundromat on the left is a hardware store. And coming up on the right is the post office. And then, uh oh, here comes somebody. Then the bank. And that's pretty much it. I'm thinking this, um, building here on the right, the white one here. Let's see if I can show it to you. I'm guessing that was, it used to be a motel. They say, I looked online, they say it's a museum, but I haven't seen like anybody in there. I'm not sure. But this is a depot museum right here. I guess this was like probably a train stop. I could have went in. I'm not sure if it's even open. Everything just looks really closed. <laughs> And everything closes by six o'clock every day here. So I was uh, going to the grocery. Well, I thought I was gonna go to the grocery um, Sunday and then I was like, oh, it's six, I, they're probably closed. And they were, uh, but they close at six every day. So if you don't have your stuff done by evening time, that's it. Now the Dollar General does stay open till 10. So if you're in a pinch, you can go there. But these are the little houses around here. Just in the little, I guess this was 
be considered like the downtown area. There's a Kadoka um, auditorium, an annex. I'm not sure what they do there. Probably get togethers and whatnot for the small town. City Office of Finance is in the back part of there, so. Uh, yeah, so, excited. Getting back on the road in the morning. I am a little nervous about going through the mountains because I remember last time I went through, um, last time I went to Seattle, I had my RV and I just remember going down a mountain pass and I was white knuckling it all the way. I thought I was going to die. I was pretty sure of it. <laughs> that in those, you know, 20 minutes, I was, I was a goner. I knew it. I knew I was going to die, but I made it. So, but I did not know at that time, because that was the first time I ever went through mountains in RV. I didn't know to downshift and I, you know, now I know. So hopefully that'll be a big help to downshift and uh, get in a lower gear so it doesn't, you know, push me down the, the mountain. So excited about getting through there and getting to where my job is. I did email her and uh, she said okay. I told her I was leaving out in the morning. She said okay. So, and that's good because I'm, I'm glad that she's been so patient and understanding. Um, that's the kind of person I want to work for. I mean, stuff that, like this doesn't happen usually, but when it does, it's nice to have, you know, a boss, especially a, like the authority figure, I guess. Um, be okay with you know things that happen unexpected problems so uh, that's where I'm at with the job so just hoping to get out there and get to work and as soon as I get out there okay so yeah these little motels there's little motels scattered through town some are closed a lot are closed I'm gonna go ahead and turn here this is the way to get to uh, the campground from Main Street there in town. So I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, these motels in the campground, um, a lot of people, they're working on the highway right here um, on 90. And a lot of the construction worker guys and girls, men and female, whatever, men and women, everybody, um, they'll camp here or stay at a motel here um, for the duration of their time that they're working out here so that's good to know but the owner like I said he's a really nice guy he pulled my trailer in even though I was freaking out really bad he did get it in there for me he's been really nice and this is a little campground that I'm at they do have a laundry facility here and a shower house so but it's very uh, there's not a pool, the sites are little, you know, but in a pinch, like, it was, it was good for me. It was good. It was cheap. It was good. You know, I had water, electric, and sewer, so, you know, that's, it's really all I needed. And it was conveniently, conveniently located, um, to the mechanic where I got my truck fixed. And that is JNS restore that's John and Sue they were great um, they helped me out um, getting my truck in and getting it fixed it did take a little while but you know that's that's nobody's fault <laughs> you know it, things just happen but they did fix it for me and I'm I'm ready to keep going get back on the road it is a little scary because um, I just got it fixed and taking it out but I did kind of break down the other day and think why am I doing this and, you know I'm by myself what am I thinking but I, I just love the journey and I don't want to stop so I'm gonna keep doing it and I'm back here at my campground or campsite here and this is me all right thanks for watching guys Talk to you later. Bye.